Hi, Chris here from Clipfolio. In this demo, I'm going to walk you through some of the client management features available to you as a Clipfolio partner. Let's start by adding a new client. In the navigation menu above your dashboard, click Clients, then click Add a Client. You can set up a few different types of client accounts. Setup mode is for clients that are in development. Users will not be able to sign in when this mode is active, and as such, they won't impact your monthly fees. Setting the status to trial gives your client users free, hands-on access to their account for a 14-day period with no impact on your monthly fees. As a Clipfolio partner, you have the ability to extend this trial period by another 14 days when the initial trial expires. Setting the account status to active turns the client account into an operational paid account with resource limitations based on your payment plan. Setting the status to disabled makes the dashboard unviewable. Client users will have access to the app but not the dashboards. These accounts will now only be accessible by the administrator, which is you. Once you set the status of the client account, you can select what features you want to make available to them. Enabling download reports and email reports are pretty self-explanatory. With Clipfolio, you have the ability to download images or PDFs of individual data visualizations or of entire dashboards, and you can also set up automated email reports. The embeds feature enables the client to get the embed code for a clip to place it on a web page. Enabling private links allows the client to publish links to dashboards which are not indexed by search engines and which can be password protected. Public links are indexed by search engines. They'll be available to everyone uh, on the web. And SSO stands for single sign-on, which enables users to log in once to access multiple applications. Lastly, as a Clipfolio partner, you can choose to bill your clients yourself or you can have Clipfolio bill them for you. Just indicate how you'd like your clients to be billed by this drop-down menu. I'll save that and I'll be taken back to the client management console. All the clients you've set up in your master account reside here on your client admin console. You can search for clients by name up here or you can use a drop down menu to search by status. Okay, so you've set up a new client account and now you want to give your client access. Let me show you how you'd invite a client to an account you've set up for them. To do that, I'll sign into the client account as an admin and now I'm in the client account and I'll click the users tab to invite new users. I'll just click the add a user button and fill out the user info and now an email will be sent to the user email address I provide inviting this client to the dashboard. As an admin you can also set roles and permissions for different types of users via the roles tab. Though you can't change the admin role in a partner account because that would be you. To navigate out of the client account, click Return to Parent Account up here, and you'll be taken back to your client admin console. Okay, let's talk about how you go about adding data visualizations and dashboards to client accounts. There are essentially three ways to do this. Uh, you can add pre-built data visualizations and dashboards via the clip and dashboard galleries from within the client account. Uh, you can also build custom content for your clients uh, in, their account, in their account itself. And third, you can import uh, data visualizations and dashboard templates that you may have previously created uh, in your master account um, for yourself or for another client. This can be really helpful when you're working with multiple clients uh, with similar dashboard needs. To import content into a client account, sign into your client account as an admin and go to the library. You can import dashboards, clips, uh, or data sources from your master partner account or from another client account. I'll import a dashboard from my partner account, like so. And it's important to note that when you import data visualizations or dashboards, um, you'll be importing uh, these visualizations with the links to their underlying data sources. So you're going to have to repoint the data sources behind the data visualizations uh, to your new client's uh, data sources. And there are a few ways to make this process easier um, as you start to do this more frequently. Uh, one of them is by using uh, custom company properties and dynamic data sources. We have another video demo on that that you may want to uh, check out. White labeling is another popular option for Clipfolio partners. Uh, when you white label Clipfolio, it gives you the opportunity to completely remove Clipfolio from the application and brand it as your own. Just click Accounts and Settings and then click White Label. If you don't see white label in the menu, then you probably haven't upgraded yet. So you'll have to do that to uh, add the feature. In the white label section, you'll see you have the option to change the product name and terminology. Uh, you can change the links and the footer, uh, logos, and even you know, email addresses like the support email address. 
These are some of the more popular features available to you as a Clipfolio partner. Uh, drop us a line at support.clipfolio.com if you have any questions. And uh, check out some of the other videos we have available to walk you through uh, some of these options in more detail. Happy dashboarding.